Today, we have the zero emission vehicle, the car. Everyone agrees that the zero emission vehicle must be the standard in the world. And we are even prohibiting diesel cars from coming into many cities because of the pollution. Governments are even obliging the car industry to stop manufacturing by 2030, 2035, the combustion engine. But when we come to the maritime industry, which is the number one polluter of transport in the world, the maritime industry does not have a zero emission ship. We need to have a new class of ships, the zero emission ship. There are many classes of ships, from a yacht to a fishing ship to a barge to an ocean goer, a ferry, but we have no zero emission ship. Urgently, we need governments to agree that a new class of ships must be imposed on all designers, on all naval architects. Now, if we have the zero emission ship, then we can start producing that new standard. I've been very privileged to own and operate the first ship in the world that went around with solar only. The first ship that uses hydrogen and intelligent kites to go around the world with solar. We know it is perfectly possible for the smaller ships first, the last thousand miles transport, to go 100% zero emissions. No one can tell me it's not possible because I've done it for 160,000 miles. And one of the new technologies that allows us to do that is the technology that is called the kite. Now, there is nothing more Chinese than the kite. The kite technology is an 8,000 year old technology. So what we did is we take the kite, we add robotics for the pulling, we add artificial intelligence, we add the laser technology, and thanks to the laser, we know exactly where the winds are. And then, with the robot and with the AI, we continue to produce power with the kite 24 hours a day. That means for the first time, we have base load power, 24 hour renewable energy. And that is what is going to make the big difference in the world. Because if the Chinese government were to lead on the classification of the ships, if the Chinese government were to embrace several of these technologies that, combined with artificial intelligence, can change the maritime industry, then we will have an immediate impact. We are tired of the discussions that don't lead to action. We are tired of the protests that don't lead to any change. We need intelligent leadership to be able to come forward embrace the technologies that are there but at the same time we need to prepare the children for this new way of approaching sustainability it is a matter of opportunity learning from nature being inspired and getting down to action because as one of the lead members of the club of rome in the 80s 90s in the year 2000 i know that we have made a lot of analysis but too much analysis leads to paralysis. We need action on the ground, and the first sector that I believe we need to take initiative will be the maritime transport sector.